All right, this is uh, the Mexican consulate here at um, Bank 6 and 6 and Charleston. Um, it's a lot of Hispanic people. It's like it does a lot of business here. I mean, it's a lot of Hispanics uh, moving into the area. But it appears that Mexico is a very complex country, meaning that it was a civilized area with the Aztecs and all those people. Um, and then all of a sudden, the, the, the Spanish or the Spaniards started moving in. So it made it even more of a complex area. So now it appears that the country, it wasn't really fully developed like it should have. So it made it so that the people would act had to leave leave the country because it it, it just wasn't it just wasn't developing fast enough so it could incorporate the people where they could have a, a sustainable life. So a lot of people just started to leave the leave the country and a lot of them they uh end up here in the US. But Mexico they don't want to develop the country because the elite there, the old Spaniards, they want to like keep control. Which is it sounds kinda of complex because a lot of the people that was in the revolution were 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 um uh mestizos. M- 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 it was mixed mixed heritage. You had some of the I think one of the first presidents w- was a black guy. So you have a large mixture of of uh, uh, Indian people, blacks, and whites. So it makes it more of a complex, but for some reason, um, the people that's in the country, mainly the elite, the elite there, just they don't, they want, they don't want to develop the country. So it makes it makes it really hard for people to. To live there. I mean, I haven't never really went deep off into the into the, the center of the area, but from what I saw from some of the tourist areas, it's, it, it appears to be really underdeveloped. 